Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Monroe Live. Today what we're gonna do is a little comparison between the F-150 Lightning and the range extended 1500 uh, Dodge Ram. So the Dodge Ram is going to be coming out uh, in 2025 and it's, a, um, it's similar to what the Volt did where it has an engine and an alternator, and I think it'll probably be a, something called an alt start, which will glue itself to the back of the engine to give it a more compact size. And the engine, I've mentioned this in the past, is the uh, 3.6 liter Pentastar engine, which um, uh, is a V6, and that's an engine that Monroe helped quite a bit uh, to develop. And I like it, and so did Ward's Automotive. It's won engine of the year several times. So it's a good engine. No question about it, but it does add some extra weight to what we would normally see in a Lightning, and um, it also precludes the ability to have a frunk because that's where the engine will be. So let's look at let's look at some of the down down parts of, of having something like this. First off, you're going to have to have a radiator, and that's going to add about 100 pounds because there's fluid and there's pumps and all kinds of stuff. Then the weight of the engine is about 330 pounds, and that's based on uh, a stripped down version. There's things that you don't need on that engine that, uh, that are already taken care of because you've got uh, an electric system. So why would I even think about having an, um, an AC system from the engine when I, I can get uh, cheaper, faster, and better out of the electric? And then there's an alt start, and alt starts are somewhere around 90 pounds. That gives us about um, 520 pounds for the mechanical stuff. And then you're gonna have the electrics and electronics that go along with it and the harnesses and yada yada. So that adds another 30 pounds, which brings us up to about an extra 550 pounds of weight that's going to be uh, carried inside of the, uh, inside of the, uh, the Ram 1500 extended range. So we look at this thing and we start seeing, okay, well, the battery pack on the Ram is going to give you about 145 miles and um, and the F-150 Lightning is going to give you about 320 miles on the battery. Now with the Rage Extender you get you get to 690 miles. Okay uh, let's think about that for a bit. That's 10 hours of driving. Hmm. I don't know I don't think I could handle 10 hours of driving because uh, quite frankly, um, people have to, um, have to pee. It's one of those things and you have to eat. So I, I'm not 100% sure I need 690 miles. And, um, and then we go into horsepower ratings. Well, the horsepower on the uh, Ram is gonna be seven, 700 um, horsepower, but the Lightning is only 580 horsepower. Towing capability of the Lightning is about 10,000 pounds, but the, um, the, the uh, 1500 is gonna be around 14,000 pounds. That's, uh, that's quite a significant difference. Going from 10,000 to 14,000 makes a big difference, in my mind anyway. Um, the car, well, the truck can also take uh, 2,600 pounds in payload, and that's pretty much the same. It tells me that it's a short bed. So we look at these kinds of things as, um, as being, you know, um, a different. And the reason that it's different is because we've got the range extender. That range extender uh, makes a big difference if you want to go like a long, long ways. Uh, but I don't, I don't know why we need that because the average daily mileage for uh, North America anyway is about 40 miles. Normally people drive only 40 miles a day. That's, um, that means that for 690 miles, I'd have to be going a long, long ways, and I'm not 100% sure whether this is going to be helpful uh, for, for me if I was looking at this uh, for me. Um, I looked at um, uh, takeoff, like zero to 60. I don't see much of a difference between four seconds and on the F-150 Lightning and um, and 4.4 seconds on the 1500 Ram extended range. To me, um, I look at these things and I look at how much this is gonna probably have to cost. And um, this is gonna come in cheaper, believe it or not. 
because you still got to have a battery and then you've got two systems at the same time. Now, that's the bad part, but the good part is that we always thought the Volt, the Chevy Volt, was uh, used a better idea. Using a range extender versus a hybrid to me is better because I lose the transmission and a lot of other clunky stuff that goes along with it that basically gives me two different distinct um, power systems, power drive systems. Having a generator, I would suggest that if Ford could maybe take one of the Stellantis, one of the Stellantis's other engines, um, maybe a four cylinder uh, turbocharged, I think that might have been a better option as long as that four cylinder engine doesn't cost more than the six or doesn't require um, better heating and cooling systems for the, for the engine itself. This, um, this product, I think, is the best work truck on the planet. And the reason for that is because it has the big battery. Um, it, because this thing here lights up and does all kinds of marvelous things. Uh, it may not tow as much, but from a work truck standpoint, this has got it all. And I'm hoping, because really and truly, I'm not here to throw anybody under the bus. My job is to tell you what the facts are and then say why maybe the 1500 might be better than what General Motors is doing, which is uh, um, basically probably sticking with, sticking with uh, gasoline engines uh, for a longer period of time. Uh, so I applaud the guys over at uh, Stellantis and uh, Ram especially, Dodge Ram now. Uh, I, I apply, I, I think that's great that they're moving in this direction. If somebody needs a really long distance or, and we all know that I hate the word range anxiety because it's all crap. That was some marketing fool that came up with that. But at the end of the day, if you really and truly need that 600 and, um, 690 miles, almost 700 miles, I, that's an amazing amount of traveling. Anyhow, if you need it, then hey, good on you, jump in and buy it, but you gotta wait till 2025, or at least 2025 model year. Anyway, at the end of the day, right now, uh, for my mind, this is the best, uh, the F-150 is the best thing you can get your hands on right now. The prices have gone down. It'll be interesting to see what, uh, what the, uh, the new 1500 comes in at, the extended range 1500 comes in at, but if it comes in at a good price, I'm pretty sure that between Ford and uh, Stellantis or Ram or whatever, they're gonna they're gonna eat um, General Motors. Uh, uh, they're gonna eat them up completely. And I have no clue what's gonna happen to the the Tundra and all the other pickup trucks that are in the marketplace. So anyway, that's kind of a quick wrap up. To me, I I gotta say thanks to uh, to the folks at uh, at Ram for coming up with something that looks like a real winner and uh, and good on them. They're, they're going in the right direction, but I'd really like to see fully electric. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Sandy Monroe, bye.